Good morning, traders. I uh, am going to go through our this week's hotness list and remove all those coins that have either A, pumped or dumped. Now, usually I want to make a habit of doing this on Friday or Saturday. And then on Monday, I try to put out a new list. All right. Um, um, a couple weeks ago, I put out a list on Friday, which is kind of not a good day. So some of these coins on this list we're going to remove from this week when I recommended them on the 18th. And then some of these coins were recommended on the 15th. And so they have either pumped or they have dumped. And we're going to go through this list and uh, do some analysis on, on each of these uh, very quickly, uh, clean it up a bit, and then um, I'll, I'll have a, a nice clean slate to start with on Monday. Let's get started here. All right, so we always start with uh, Bitcoin. Um, when we're doing these hot lists, um, that's just because everybody follows the lead dog. I, I'm not going to spend too much time here because I did a video yesterday, but I did find a new trend line as I was looking at my phone this morning. I noticed something interesting. If I draw a trend line from here to here, it looks like we have broken to the top side of this trend line. We're now coming down to test that trend line as support. And that's where we get this uh, green candle here. All right. Now, it's sometimes the case that you use this li previous line of resistance. Now support as a slide of sorts. So we could continue down and you know slide down the top of this trend line until we hit our massive multi-year long support and then bounce from there. Um, but I don't know that that's going to happen. I guess we'll find out. Uh, there's there's no let me put it this way. There's no indicators showing me that we'll get beline, be, below that 39300 price. All right? I've got that as support right now. In fact, let me just thicken that line a little bit because I think it's more important than what the thickness indicates. And put it at 400 so that is our line all right uh, of support right now that 39 300 price uh, so I'm hoping we bounce off of there enough said about this let's take a look at our coins all right so wrapped Luna uh, is a hot coin now on this one I'm gonna have to zoom into the four hour uh, give you a bit of history so this one I put on my this week's hotness on Monday which is when it pumped and we broke to the upside of this descending wedge had this measured out here I said the target would be you know our 94 uh, resistance and it was actually so strong that we made it above that resistance and continued to move up all the way to hundred dollars all right so then um, I was careful to warn you in another video not to FOMO yourself in, especially at that price way up there, because our RSI, take a look at our RSI, it was in overbought territory. So I wanted uh, those of you who are looking to enter to be careful here because it did have some room to come back down. And my new target for entry was anywhere from 84 to $89. Remember I said I don't think it's going to come all the way back down to our $78 support as I had originally, I guess, not anticipated, but hoped for because I love Luna. Uh, I love the project and apparently so do many others. Anyways, I'm going to leave this one on the list because right now, if I zoom back out to the daily, you can see that this is a nice little bull flag. All right. So I don't even know that we're going to come down to my new target between 84 and $89 guys. I think $89 support is your entry area if you can get it there that's a good price uh it looks like it's going to continue onwards and upwards uh, within the next couple weeks at least that's what this chart is showing me all right so leaving that one on the list cult is another one i did some quick technical analysis on uh, everything is following trends uh in fact 
Uh, again, let's zoom into the four hour here and I'll show you what we've got here with this descending wedge. And we're, and we're we're riding the bottom of this descending wedge, all right? So it's testing the patience and the hands, the weak hands of a lot of um, these traders. Uh, some, uh, you know, especially with these new coins, they ride the hype, but that means you're gonna get a lot of shaky hands, weak hands in the mix. And so that's what all of this is indicating. These are people who are selling because they put too much in and they're nervous or, and when I say put too much, it means more than they can afford to lose. You should never put more than you can afford to lose into any of these coins. Um, you know, so, so these, these guys are just getting shook out here at the bottom of this trend line, but, uh, keep calm and use, uh, logic and reason to trade and not your emotions and you can see here that this is a very bullish pattern this is a descending wedge and when we break to the top side of this our first target then i mean we can expect to go let's just say we break out here i know that's a crooked line yeah right there that makes sense all right so our first target would be right up here at zero 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 three six eight somewhere around there you know one of our previous body highs before we just uh, tumbled down here all right so there you go there's a target on that once we break to the top side of that descending wedge OGN I think I put that one on the chart on the 15th that we uh, that's another reason why I have to make sure that I do these videos on um, Mondays instead of some weird day, just so I can track the dates better. All right, so we have the, all right, I got to zoom out to the daily here. When I put this on the chart, it was the 15th. So yeah, we were forming this little bull flag. See that here? I mean, those of you who have done technical analysis can spot that quickly it's a little nice little bull flag on the daily we broke to the top side of that that gave us enough of a boost to break out over the 200 day moving average uh, so this one has had its pump so because of that if you were in that congratulations i'm going to be taking this one off the list here and when i remove it i'm going to put it in um Where's my list? Oh yeah, right here. I'm gonna put it in that and I'm gonna take it off this week's hotness. That way I can keep track and give you a, a typed out list in the description as well. Uh, BCH, I put on the list on the 18th, I believe. And the reason I did that is because we were above this 50 day and 100 day moving average. Remember I said the criteria was simple in this week's hotness list, as well as last week's. We had to be above that 50 and 100 day, we were. And BCH likes to do, play these kind of tricks. It fell below both of those. So this is a dump, and I'm gonna have to take this one off the list. All right, give me a second here. And scale is our next one. Nice bull flag, look at that guys. I can't take this one off the list. This one has neither pumped nor dumped yet, but sure looks like it's gonna pump. Still above that 50, still above the 100, and look at that bull flag, that is beautiful. So this one stays on the list and looks very promising. Rough bull flag there, but yeah, I'm leaving that one on the list for sure, for sure, for sure. All right. ZRX has definitely pumped <laughs> since I recommended it. All right, remember we I, I spotted this bull flag here. We were starting to test the top side of that, broke out to the upside. That is a beautiful pump. If you were in that trade, congratulations, man, 56%. I mean, some of you may have, not many of you sold at the top, but it went up as much as 67%. Uh, so, those of you who were in that trade, congrats. That is beautiful. We're moving that one. All right, take it off of there. 
add it to there. All right, and where are we now? All right, still looking like a bull flag here on BAL. Beautiful bull flag. Above the 50, above the 100. Yeah, we had a little bit of a pump since I recommended it because I recommended it on the 18th. So we're right here at the cross section of our 50 and our 100 day moving average. And then we pumped from there. But this is still overall looking very bullish. So even though you had uh, a 19% pump, usually that's enough for me to take these things off the list. Even though you had that, I'm still leaving this one on the list because of this massive bull flag here. It looks like it's going to go even more. All right, CHZ, massive bull flag. Looks like we broke to the bottom side of that, and sometimes that does happen. Um, we can redraw that bull flag, uh, but we are resting on 100 days uh, moving average support. So that is very much a good sign. And sometimes people have these things drawn a little bit different or the psychology of the market is, is uh, too early, jumping the gun a little bit. So if we draw that like that, uh, we would be in the tip of that bull flag. That is definitely a bull flag. Now, again, just because it's a bull flag doesn't mean it's going to play out as a bullish. What we're doing here was we're spotting probabilities not promises all right so i want you to be aware of this uh obviously any um crypto can move up or down and the way we play this game it's all about probabilities and what we're doing here is measuring the probability these bull flags indicate that the probability of going up is much greater than going down however set your stop losses and uh, be disciplined about trading out wherever your risk tolerance allows you you know to hold to or to um, exit uh, basically make sure and that's different for everyone I, i'm not telling i don't tell people where to trade in or out i'll give levels and you know you can you can follow that but uh, so there's a level right there um, you know, if we got down to that level, then maybe you would want to consider trading out. However, I see another pattern just right off as I'm looking at this. And maybe it's because I do that have done this so long. But you could turn this into a bullish descending wedge as well. So we could stay in this all the way down to that line and still be bullish. Um, and that's why you guys, you have to know how to spot these patterns and draw these trend lines and also um, be disciplined about your trades where you're going to enter where you're going to exit etc etc enough said on that all right this one's still very bullish i'm leaving that one on the charts because it has neither pumped nor dumped shib shiba inu all right so 18th is when i did my videos right all right so all right, I left it on the chart. Okay, I remember this one. I left on the chart because we were actually, when I did my video, we were right flirting with this 100-day, and I didn't know whether we were going to close above that and confirm, in which case I would leave it on the chart or if we would fall below that 100-day. We fell below the 100-day and the 50-day. So because of that, even though I'm still bullish on SHIB, Shiba Inu overall, I have to take it off the list because it is not prime setup. This is not a perfect setup. Uh, now I see it's forming an M pattern of sorts, but again, that's that's for future. I have to take this one off the list because it actually dumped versus pumping. All right, all right, SNX. 18th where are we 18th is where i recommended it so right here is where i recommended it we had our pump is this one going to go farther yeah i think so because it's forming a larger bull flag that one pumped 40 percent those of you who were in that trade 
Congrats. All right, 40%. Now, I'm thinking about leaving this one on the list just because, just like on many of these, I am seeing a larger bull flag right here. Look at this, guys. This thing is ready to go even further. All right, there's your bull flag overall. So I could actually leave this one on the list for the longer for the longer term, especially since we still have a 50 day and our 100 day uh, right below us. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this one on the list. You already had 40 percent on it, and it looks like it's uh, fixing to do more. OK, EOS. Uh, bullish descending long descending uh, wedge and we're above the 50 and the 100 day this is beautiful this guy is ready to rumble and it's forming an M pattern dang this looks really good I'm leaving this one on the list now this is a longer term trade obviously because when I started this wedge, it was all the way over in June of last year. So almost a year descending wedge. But man, when this thing goes, it's going to fly. Let's do a quick measurement here. All right, then we're going to take that to where we expect it to maybe break out or anticipate. Let's just estimate. All right, and it's giving me a target here of actually that's a pretty good target right there. Uh, Five dollars and four. Five dollars and forty-six cents, and current price is two dollars and forty-four cents. So that is over double. Leaving that one on the list. Got to keep moving here, guys. K N C. <laughs> it's uh, this is too hot to be on this list. I mean, unbelievable. I just like watching this stuff, but man, look at this pump. 340% from January. So while everything else was going down, KNC went rogue and pumped 340% since January. I want to know if any of my subscribers were smart enough to enter and hold this thing. I know I wasn't. I wish I was, but man. <laughs> I got to take this one off the list, though. That is just so hot right now i'm going to put this somewhere else where i can watch it i'm just going to throw it in here real quick because i want to watch that that is fun to watch lcx got a little descending wedge here bullish flag whatever you want to call it um and our target is 18 cents here so it has not pumped has not dumped leaving that one on the list Doji coin. All right, we got a bullish flag here. I know this chart is noisy, but longer term bullish flag. We're still sitting on the 50. I know we've dropped below the 100. Uh, RSI has come down nicely uh, from where it was. Uh, I would say probably from the 18th it has dumped, but not not enough, I think, to take it off my list. Uh, where are we? 18th right there. We actually pumped a little bit from the 18th where I recommended it because we were sitting on that 100 day at the time. Fell below the 100 day. I mean, honestly, I have to take it off the list actually because it has been a lackluster performer and is now under the 100 day. So that's not a perfect setup. That's not the kind of coin I want on this list taking this one off the list and I am running out of time for the trading view video so I got to keep moving here AAV leaving on the list ETC nice bull flag under the 50 day still a bull flag though leaving that one on the list comp uh, above the 50 and 100 Fox above the 50 and 100 ape uh, that's still good support and we have a target up here all right uh, at $18 and so you still got some uh, profit on this one. And that is my video for today. Uh, let's do the outro. All right, if you're still in some of these that have dumped, stay patient. I sense another bump coming soon. Yes, that's true. And my subs know where, why, when I exit. Never grow tired or so attached to a coin that you can't let it go. All right, talk to you later, guys. Peace.